So on the left, we have the 32 gig model, which is almost 400 pounds more expensive than the one on the right, which is a 16 gig model. These are both the bottom spec one and both have had for the extra 90 pounds, I've had the graphics card updated to the 560X from the 550. So the first test we're gonna do is we're gonna launch Premiere Pro just to see if there's any difference in the speed that they launch. And as you're about to see, the 32 gig model launches a split second quicker. Now the reason we decided to do this test is because there's a guy who has a great YouTube channel called Max and he compared all three MacBook Pro models and he came to the conclusion that the only difference between the mid-spec and the low-spec one wasn't the RAM but the graphics card. So now that we have one with 32 gig graphics card versus one with 16 and the RAM is the only differentiating factor here, we're going to see if that's uh, the case or not. Don't get me wrong, I absolutely love Max's channel, I've learned so much from it. So. Um, you know, uh, we just decided to do our own test just because we had the two in the office at the same time. So the first clip we're exporting here is we're exporting a 4K clip. It's a minute and a half clip and we're exporting it uh, to H264 4K. And again, the one on the left is a 32 gig model. The one on the right is a 16 gig model. And the price difference between these is a 55 inch 4K TV in terms of price. As you can see, the 32 gig model actually does beat it out at one minute and two seconds or one minute and three seconds. And on the other side, it took a minute and 10 seconds for the 16 gig model. Now, may not seem like much, but if you're editing 10 hours a day and you, this is your full-time work, at the end of the week, that could be an hour or two every week. At the end of the year, that's a couple of lost days work. So what we've done now on screen, as you can see, we've, we're using the same footage to, ex to export, but we've added two effects to the footage. We've made it black and white, and we've also added a grain uh, to the footage to see how long they take to export. So it's the same footage, minute and a half, 4K, and we're exporting to 4K H.264 again, but it's taking far, far longer than I had anticipated, to be honest with you. We will take a look at Final Cut Pro to see if that's any quicker um, and to see if there's any difference between the 32 and 16 gig models. And again, these are both the low spec, lowest spec MacBook Pros and the only difference um, between them is the RAM. They've both been updated to the top spec graphics card um and yeah we had these in the office we saw max said that if you update the graphics card from the 16 uh, gig lowest spec one to the top graphics card uh the 560x then you should get the similar results to the mid spec macbook pro with 32 gig ram and our test results just don't really show that because there's quite a considerable difference but let's just skip to the end of this uh, particular test here because it does take a while Okay, um, as we come to around two minutes and 20 seconds, the 32 gig MacBook Pro is finishing now. Um, so 223, you can probably take a second or two off these tests because I started the export um, and just before I did, I pressed the record, I pressed the start timer button on the phone. So the difference between these two, again, you can see on screen, it's just under 10 seconds difference between the two. Um, but again, if you're talking longer timelines over a period of, you know, 10 hours a day and if you're doing this full time, it could add up to a couple of days worth of work at the end uh, of the year. Now let's launch Final Cut and see if there's much of a difference. Uh, Final Cut Pro X, it actually launches slightly quicker on the 16 gig one. So here we go, we're back into the next export. We've put the same footage in that we had in Premiere Pro. We've put it in twice, we're exporting to Apple 4K. And the difference in Final Cut between the 32 and 16 gig is alarming. I mean, the 32 gig version completed the export in around 31 seconds, and we're gonna have to speed this up, otherwise we'll be here for a while. This is the 16 gig one. Now, both of these have just been rebooted, the Macs. They've got a clean install of the operating system that had only a couple of programs installed, and the footage dragged and dropped over. Yet again, we're kind of seeing that there's a major difference here. We're talking 30 seconds versus a minute and 44. It took three times as long with the 16 gig model. And we don't know why, because they're not using the full RAM. They're not even using 10 gig RAM, but they're the results you can discuss below and let us know your thoughts. But this is essentially what we found 
when comparing to exact same low spec MacBook Pros, one with 16 gig of RAM, one with 32. Let us know your thoughts.